Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the connected spiral stitch, which is the stitch that you see here. And it is a fairly lacy looking stitch. It's comprised of double crochet clusters that are worked around uh, the posts of the double crochet stitch that is indicated. So it kind of gives you this back and forth look. It uh, it's not heavy in texture and because of its lacy look it works up quickly and it's also not too bad as far as uh, the yarn usage that it requires. So today we're going to learn how to crochet the connected spiral stitch. While you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and tutorials. Grab your hook and some yarn and let's get started. So today for our connected spiral stitch, we are going to make our slip knot and we're going to start by making a chain with a multiple of three stitches plus five. So today for you, I'm going to chain a total of 20 stitches. There's 10, 15, and 20. So once you have your chain, your desired length, you are going to begin by working one double crochet st stitch in the sixth chain from your hook. So count in from your hook, one, two, three, four, five, six. And in that sixth chain, you are going to work your first double crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. We are now going to work uh, three chain stitches, one, two, three, and we're going to work the first of our cluster stitches. Your cluster stitches are essentially double crochet stitches that are all joined together at the top. And to give us our spiral effect, we're going to be crocheting them around the post of the double crochet stitch before. So what you're going to do is you've chained three, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the double crochet stitch that you just worked, yarn over and drop a loop. You then have three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and draw through two. You're going to do that for a total of three times. So there's the one, two, all around the same post, and three. Once you have a total of four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over once again but this time, instead of working around the post of that double crochet stitch, you're going to skip two chains, one, two, and work the double crochet stitch around the, in the next chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn out, and drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. You'll now have five loops on your hook for the cluster. You're going to yarn over and draw through all five loops on your hook. And that is the first cluster made. You're then going to chain three and we're going to repeat that process for the next cluster. So you see your double crochet stitch that you just worked down here below. You're going to work the first three legs of your cluster around it. So yarn over around the post of that last double crochet stitch, insert your hook and drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Do that two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook around the same post, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, three loops on your hook. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook around the post of that same double crochet stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have four loops on your hook, you need one more, so you're going to go down to your chain again, skip the next two chains, and work the final leg of the cluster, the final double crochet in that next chain. 
Once you have five loops on your hook, you're going to join, yarn over and pull through all five loops. And that's your second cluster made. Repeat that all the way across. So chain three and then work your next four cluster, uh, double crochet cluster around the post of the last double crochet stitch. Once you have four loops on your hook, skip the next two stitches and work the final double crochet stitch in the next chain. With five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And repeat, chain three, cluster over the post of the double crochet stitch before. Once you have four loops on your hook, skip the next two chains down below, work your next double crochet in the next chain. With five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. And you're going to do that when you come to your final two chains, you're going to repeat that cluster one more time. So chain three, cluster over the last double crochet stitch just made. And then work the final leg of that cluster in your final chain. With five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Next, in the next chain three, you're going to work one double crochet stitch. So this is my chain three space right here. I'm going to work my next double crochet stitch in it. Chain three, and now work your cluster over that last double crochet stitch. And then the last leg of your cluster is going to be in the next chain three. So work your final double crochet in the next chain three stitch. Once you have five loops, yarn over, pull through all five. Then you're going to repeat chain three, cluster over the around the post of the double crochet just made. And working the final leg of that cluster in the next chain three stitch. And repeat chain three, cluster around the post of the double crochet stitch just made. Work the final leg of the cluster around the next, in the next chain three. Chain three, cluster around the double crochet just made. Work the final leg in that next chain three space. Yarn over, pull through all five loops. You're going to, when you come uh, to your final starting chain three there, you're going to work one more cluster. Chain three, cluster around the post of the double crochet just made. And for the last leg of this final cluster in your row, you're going to work it in the top of the chain three. Five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five. When you come to the end of your row, chain three and turn your work. For the rest of this pattern, for as long as you would like to work it, you're going to simply repeat that row two. Double crochet in the next chain three space. Chain three and cluster around the post of the double crochet just made. Chain 
finish that last uh, double crochet in the cluster in the next chain three space yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook chain three and then you're going to repeat that once again so continue to repeat that row two for the length of your project and you can see it's quite a quick stitch to work up and I think it's quite pretty in the end I could see this using it uh, being used in blankets and shawls uh, and wraps and in a variety of different crochet projects so thank you so much for joining me on this crochet stitch tutorial on how to crochet the connected spiral until next time happy crocheting bye